I was 11 years old when I first started. My dad bought me a book um, filled with origami manuals and instructions. It was a guide that had at least like 50 or 50 or 60 different origami types and it was split into five different sections and on the first page was instructions on how to fold a crane. After folding my first paper crane, I was more interested in having a better folding technique because I anticipating folding at least a thousand more because according to legend, if you fold 1,000 cranes, your wish is granted. And this legend derives from Sadako Sasaki, who was once a childhood victim of the Hiroshima bombing. And when she was hospitalized, her classmates tried to fold 1,000 cranes. However, she did pass away before her classmates were able to complete the 1,000 cranes. And in her honor, we continue folding 1,000 cranes in the hopes of having our wishes granted. And that's how I got inspired to fold about 1,100 more cranes. Since I wanted to follow the legend of folding a thousand cranes to get a wish, I eventually just memorized the directions so I can start folding it from wherever and whenever. So I would be able to fold um, squares and memorize directions and fold them off from there. So I think after my tenth, my eighth or tenth crane, I memorized directions from there on. In my experience of folding origami, paper cranes are the most basic you can get. However, you can also start with the mozzie box as well since it's also very simplistic as well. There's nothing very complicated in folding mozzie boxes, which originally were used to store rice. For people who have lots of friends, have a big group, or are currently in a relationship, you can also fold um, variations on the original crane called, I believe they pronounce it as Sambazaru, where you have two cranes lined up side by side, kind of like couples holding hands. Um, also, I think there's a variation, another variation where there's three cranes lined all together. And the third variation of the original crane folding is where there's four cranes, however, instead of being all side by side, they're presented in a square where all their beaks are touching. In life, my dots don't come out correctly. However, whenever I make a crane and I don't fold something correctly, it still comes out to the final product, which is a crane. And even if you do mess up one of the sides of the crane, Whichever side's the most messed up becomes a head. And so whatever mistakes you make or flaws, it doesn't matter because you still get a crane in the end. And so your message is still preserved within the folding of the crane.